Okay, so just to explain the central locking system, this is the caster right here. You can tell it's got a little tower with the camshaft here, so when we rotate this part, I don't know if you can see it, but when we rotate this part, it has an effect on this part here that comes down on the wheel and the swivel head. So also, we also have the dead man brake. This is the dead man brake caster, and it consists of this lever here, and the entire drum brake system is inside the caster, so right now this wheel doesn't turn at all. So if we relieve pressure, if we apply pressure here, it relieves the drum brake and then the wheels can turn. So to better explain this, we built a cart. And on this same cart, we have a dead man brake caster here that are linked with cables. And you can see the lever here. So when we apply pressure, the lever will move, relieve the drum brake, and the wheel turns. Right now the wheel is locked. On the other end of the cart, we have a central locking caster. It's exactly the same caster as we showed you earlier. Right now, the wheel swivels and the, the wheel turns freely, and the caster swivels freely as well. If we apply pressure on this braking lever, it has a rotational effect, effect that will lock the caster. So I'll go ahead and push the lever. So you can see that as I apply pressure on the brake, it turns the cam, which locks the swivel head and the wheel efficiently, but it does that on both casters. So to better show you, we'll put the cart straight. So right now, the dead man brake casters lock this cart from moving. So if I want to release the drum brakes, I apply pressure here on the handle which has that effect on those levers we saw earlier, and now I can move the cart. If I let go, cart locks. In addition to that, we can apply the brake and fully lock the whole cart, and it's very sturdy.